Welcome back to Will's World. Today we are answering questions girls are too afraid to ask guys with Jake. How was it supposed to follow that up? What's up, chat? Or chat? What's up, YouTube? How are we doing? Yeah. Sorry, I'm used to Twitch. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're back on YouTube. I just want to see the different different type of different answers opinions. I'm going to oh, yeah. Do you guys want to start off like a little, a little wild? Hey, bro, like... we're in your world. Just we're in Will's you, world. We're in Will's world. Take us, take us where you uh, need to take us. No, I'll start sweet. I'll start really sweet, okay? Do you guys actually clean their ass <laughs> i mean i do i mean i do no, actually, okay. but, but i don't believe the whole world bro, does no we do. were okay. just talking about that tiktok trend where like girls are like oh, yes. putting the, dude dudes out there if you're watching this please use soap please clean yourself properly it is so disgusting i was watching that whole trend of like girls they'll put like glitter under the the soap and they'll check after their boyfriend showers to see if he used it and he doesn't use any of it i'm like bro That's... and then all the responses are like my boyfriend does this too oh, i give it this hell like, no dudes Please, please clean your ass, clean your whole body, bro. Please, for the love of God. And I, I think the girls will agree with that. I clean my whole body. Yeah. And one thing I'm interested, I, I really like like really natural products. Do you guys believe in the right person at the wrong time or right person at the right time? Do you guys believe that like it just falls into place? I don't works? believe that. I don't really believe in soulmates. So. Yeah, yeah, me either. I don't. I don't believe in that. I think. I think like you just. I think maybe like, just I find think someone. You yeah, I think yeah, I think like, work. Yeah, and, uh, it could be with anyone, no matter how compatible you are. Yeah, I think uh, it takes work. I feel like life, life just has does its own, shit, bro. Life has no rules. Yeah, I know? agree. I agree. No, and I also think like you can find someone you're more compatible with. You know, I definitely think there's like compatibility with like lifestyles and jobs and and, yeah. and what your future goals are. But I also think it still takes work, no matter what. So definitely got to put yourself out there. But you also can't try too hard because the people that try the hardest, like, I feel like get into the worst situations. Well, I think I think when you try super hard, you're not being yourself. Okay. Do you really care if your girl is shaved or not? Like if you, if you're like hooking up with someone, do you care? I, it's not a deal breaker. Like okay. I, have, it matter, I, I, have, I have a preference, but I'm. It's not like. You know, if you really love someone and you're like into them, I don't think- No, no, not love. This, this could be just a hookup preference. Do I have a preference? Yes, yeah, yeah, but preference. is it a deal breaker? No. Bro, she could be hairy as a chimpanzee. I don't hey, care. My boy I, 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 people. I Say you're single and you're, uh, you're dating. The girl. You're single and you're dating? You're, like you're dating. <laughs> How's that you're work? No, 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 you're single but you're, you're looking to date. There we go. Okay. You're single but you're looking to date. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, so you're cheating. <laughs> if you meet a girl and uh, her intentions are like, and right in front of you, she says, I want to wait till marriage. Are you able to wait till marriage do you believe no no way bro i think i'm too horny oh. <laughs> Get ass. bro uh, if, we're, if we if we weren't intelligent species and we we're just like thrown in the middle of a forest like <laughs> we are sure. like our natural instincts yeah are uh, so i'm gonna say <laughs> like bro like i'm going by my uh, natural instincts i'm bro. gonna listen i'm gonna say if i really love that person and i really see a future with that person i'm gonna respect that they that decision and I'm gonna try to make it work. What is it my ideal situation? No, but if I really do love that person, I really wanna be with that person and that's something that's important to them, mm -hmm. I'm gonna respect that. I that's agree with it. that. If I was in that situation, but I don't think I would, I think that I would have be living a completely different lifestyle if a person that has like that ideology. Mm -hmm. so, so you might not be compatible. You're yeah, so I wouldn't be compatible with them in general. In, in like other ways as well. Yeah, like but if in a world where that was, was happening and they were someone that like I definitely wanted to stick by, then I'd definitely yeah. be about that. Do men like when women do cutesy stuff, like dropping off food, making cute stuff, writing letters? 100%. I love it. You was going to say I, no. No, no, oh. I know. I'm saying yeah. Like, but I was going to say, like, I don't even think people like that just as in a girlfriend. I, I think people like that in general. Yeah. Like your homie's yeah. just pulling up. Yeah, my homie. Like, hey, if my homie wants to write me a letter. Hey, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah. No, nah, it shows you care. I feel like. It yeah, shows, yeah. Like, yeah. In yeah. general, yeah, it just yeah. shows you care in general. Like it's always nice to feel like you're cared for. Yeah, okay. I think like a lot of girls obviously expect that, and I think it should go both ways. Yeah, and and I feel like. People do that in the beginning, and then everyone gets too used to the relationship. I feel like it's always nice to give a reminder that you care. If you're in a relationship, do you care if your girlfriend hangs out with a dude one-on-one, -on -one, like her best friend? I would have to meet the guy. Like, yeah. cause I, listen, like, I think it depends. If I meet a guy, I can tell like what his intent is. Yeah. So like, if I feel like his intent is, you know, something other than what he's saying, then I'm gonna have an issue. But I think, you know, there are situations where that's not the case. I also feel like for me, if it's a guy that like say it's her best friend now but it's a guy that used to hit on her a guy that tried to get with her and tried mm -hmm. to date her yeah i always like i'm like dude i'm a dude i know that in the back of your head if you have a chance you're gonna yeah, that that shot. you don't give a 
I think it's less it's you, less about because obviously you you trust your girl, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what her you intent yeah, is. You wouldn't be with but that. like you you can kinda usually pick up on what the guy's intent is. So if you meet him and he seems you know, you can tell he's like yeah. you genuine, he's not trying that, then of course no issue. But a lot of guys, and I know guys, that's not the case. It's like if you're if you're with that person, you just gotta trust that if that person is their best friend then they're not trying to be anything more than friends. Yeah. So I it, think in the same way, like if I was in a relationship and I was hanging out with a girl, I wouldn't if I knew her intent was something else. Oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, hang well, out with her one on one. Yeah, it's pretty so much. It kind like, of goes both ways. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty much like all down trust. It's pretty much all down to the trust of your relationship. But what are you guys saying about like what dudes think? Like, bro. All right, are yeah. you guys nervous when asking girls out? Are you guys like very? How are you guys when it comes to asking girls out? I don't usually ask girls out. Like usually, I just kind of like let the girl ask me out. To be honest, bro, I'm like 50-50. I like sometimes I, I'll be getting like getting a little nervous of like shit, like overthinking it, and then other times I'm kind of like I don't know, it's a situation. Yeah. If I'm drinking, I'm 100% chilling. I'm like confident, chilling. Yeah. If I'm completely sober, then I'm like I, I, I start overthinking. I do get a lot more nervous when I'm like asking a girl out versus if I'm just like you know flirting with a girl at, at a bar. Yeah, yeah. Ver you know, versus me like yo, I really really like this girl. I wanna you know take her on a date. Yeah. 100%. I definitely get a little more nervous. I have a natural fear of crossing anyone's boundaries. Boundaries, yeah. like mm -hmm. girl or guy so it's like I usually don't pick up on the social cues I don't want to like put my hand on someone in, in, in that thought if they might not be interested yeah, in it. Yeah. so I just completely avoid it yeah and, just like this and most of the time and most of the time when someone's like into me I don't really even know it until you know they're like literally begging yeah so um, <laughs> Jake please me. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, please. Jake is bothered, bro. I suck. I pretty much just wait for someone to do all the work. What are your guys's like uh red flags? If she doesn't let me do what I want, pretty That's much. Cause like I wanna like I wanna like live my exact same life if I was in a relationship versus if I wasn't. Cause like I still wanna be me. So if she's like trying to control what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like at the end of the day, I'm Jake Weber and I still want to be Jake Weber in a relationship or Subscribe. out of one. So Subscribe to Jake Weber. Subscribe to Jake Weber. Yeah. I don't want my life like changed at all. If it any way it is changed. You know, I, I have to hang out with less people or something like that. Or like my phone's like being looked into. Just like anything. I just want to be the same me. And if I could still be the same me in a relationship or it's not, then I'm cool with it. Yeah, I think a big red flag is them not trusting you. Like kind of what you said, like if they're trying to look through my phone or if they're trying to like, you know, get in between me and my career, like something, I, you know, yeah. I find important. Or dude, some people try to like take you away from your friends or your family. That's yeah, a huge that, red flag. that is. Like they try to set, they try to like isolate you and separate you. Like yeah. talk bad about your friends, talk bad about your family. Yeah. Yeah. Try to make you feel like bad for hanging out with them. Like that's a big mm -hmm. red flag for me. So. Do you think if you're dating someone, you should share locations? Because I personally do. I have I have my girl's location, and I have it as a safe. I don't look at it. I just like in case God forbid anything were to happen, I just yeah. fucking look. I know where she's at. Like for for the right reason. Because yeah. I've been in I've been in a relationship where if someone had my location, they would be looking at it twenty four seven. That's, that's like not. Yeah. That's not healthy. I'm gonna go yeah. with Jake on this one where like it depends on the intent behind it. Because yeah, yeah. some people are like they'll get that location, they'll nonstop be like, where, where you at? Where are you like, at? Where, why are you here? What's going on? And I would never Versus, like yeah. like you said, like for safety, if, yeah. like you don't hear from someone for a while and you're like, Oh, I hope they're good. Yeah. yeah. And you can like check in and see where they're Yeah, at. me and Tara have our locations on, but it's like I've actually never in my life had even seen where her location is yet. Yeah, because I've been in a situation like that before where they're like non-stop checking my location. Me too. So kind of like put me, out, it put me off the idea of doing it, but like... Same here. I, yeah, I, like, I, was held, like, I held back because I was like, no one needs to know like my exact location. Yeah, because I've been in that time. like controlling where it's like, where are you at 24-7? Yeah, so yeah. like, it, it kind of put me off doing it. All right, guys. What does it feel like to have a boner? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and, then, and then the following question I don't after know that, the is. following question after that was what does it feel like to I dude I feel weird I feel like I came and say that word in front of Crawford. What? Uh come. Oh god. <laughs> I've never done that before. No, um, I don't know why I look at Crawford I'm like I can't say the word come. <laughs> Yeah, what does it feel like to have a boner? I think it, I think like it just it's cool, like I don't know, vibe and then It's kinda inconvenient sometimes to be honest. Yeah yeah, it, it could be. <laughs> it could be. Other times not so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of the scientific way I can say what it feels like. You feel like a tingly rush of stiffness. And then when it's stiff, every time you kinda like clench your body, you feel it extra like it like lifts. <laughs> like this. 
So it's like, it's sort of like anytime you tense up at all, it goes, there's a lot of focus mm -hmm. happening. Hey, think about when a lot of blood rushes to your brain. It's just a lot of yeah. blood rushing somewhere else. Yeah. 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 Like, what, you want to answer the second part of the question? Yeah. Do you want to answer the second? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Conference, amazing. Conference got this I'm just one. I to say, great. Like a release. You know, it's just that's, like, that's good. I it, will it say. It feels like a. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's great. What do you got for us? When talking or dating someone, do you think you should stay in touch throughout the day? Or are you more of a, I'm doing this today, I'll talk to you tonight? I think in between. I I, I, I believe like humans were not meant to have 24 seven access to people. Mm -hmm. We didn't have phones, you know, what, 20 years ago? Yeah. Like now we have social media. Like I think it's unhealthy to need to know where someone's at every second of every day. But I do think like if you have time throughout the day to like check in on them and see, like, hey, what are you doing? Have a little conversation here and there. But I'm not a big like text every two minutes all day. I yeah, think same. I, I think too much. I think texting every two minutes is more of kind of like a phase thing. Yeah. It's like I can't my entire life be texting every two minutes. Yeah. Like like I did it. I did it a lot. Like you know when I first got a phone or like high school shit. Or like when I'm like newly talking to someone. On, like back in the day but like now it's like I mean what do you talk what can you talk about every two minutes yeah, 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 like yeah. also I don't like to talk text that much about what I'm doing because it kind of gives you nothing to talk about when you actually see each other that's true yeah well so me I'm a big FaceTime person I'll usually like FaceTime throughout the day yeah. like, oh yeah facts FaceTime. like instead of texting all day like every I don't know like once or twice a day maybe three times a yeah. month What's happening? I'll call, check in. Is morning wood actually a thing? 100%. Yeah, it is. What's the, the science behind that? Truthfully, like for me, what I think it is, is I drink a lot of like water before I go to bed. Like I like watch TV and drink water and, and sometimes soda if I like go talk about or some shit. I wake up and I think I have to piss because I'll have a boner and I'll go pee and then I won't have a boner. But there's gotta be like an, I, there's, a, there's I don't know be, if that's part like, of it I don't or not. Know, there's gotta be a scientific reason. I don't know what, you, what the science uh, yeah. behind it is. It I says, know. um, your testosterone level is at its highest in the morning after you wake up. Uh, okay. So you're just horny? I didn't even, I thought I had to pee. I don't do this by the way. Why do guys use two in one shampoo conditioner or body wash, or three in one shampoo, hey, body wash? We kind of touched on this. Some guys don't use any. So yeah. if anything, you should be thankful. <laughs> no, yeah, that is no, true. No, no, but... I, don't, I don't use two in one, but I guess to save time. I think a lot of guys are lazy. I don't think scientifically two in one is a real thing. I think that guys need to, uh, I think guys need to care more about uh, their hygiene, yeah, you know, in general. And it's like, I, I'm not about that five in one nah. stuff. Yeah. Do you think girls having a high body count is bad? No, not to me, because if it was like rules or rules reversed, I mean, what matters is as long as it doesn't go up. No, oh, yeah. After yeah, you true. start dating. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I agree with agree with that it's yeah. like you know you can't change the past as long as when we're dating you're loyal to me you're you know all in with the relationship and to me yeah i'm saying yeah. the only thing yeah. is like you know we're like in la where there's like a bunch of people but i'd say if you're in a small town hey, I, it'd be a little embarrassing no, no, no. if you walked into the I, store I, and there's like three dudes in i there will say like... but i would have a hard time being with a girl that i know has gotten with my close friend yeah yeah yeah, right. yeah 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 like that's one thing like body count doesn't matter if she's to me. a homie hopper yeah so what happened in the past happened in the past whatever but if yeah. you know if we're gonna be dating and we're gonna be around our friends and you've hooked up with some of them it's yeah, work. if it's like okay. people, if it's like people that I'm like not even around at all, I don't give a shit. But if like yeah. you're seeing these people like every day and like in the back of their mind, they're like, you're like yeah. holding hands while I up with did your girl, that. and it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I just, I just. yeah, that that to me is the issue. Do you guys wipe sitting down or standing up? Sitting down, sitting down, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Well, you gotta answer, <laughs> huh? Sitting down, okay, yeah. We'll see you next Wednesday. Hey, Thank you guys go. for coming through. My boy, thanks for having me. Uppers, uppies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, love, love you guys. Peace, peace out. Peace, peace.